Hello and welcome to a tutorial in Lightwave 3D of creating a cartoon looking car. This is a low poly cartoony car that we're creating. So to begin, let's go to the create tab and hit the box on the primitive, uh, primitive section. So let me hit box and go to the top view, click and drag. So we are creating something of a rectangle because this is the basic shape of cars. So this rectangle goes from the bottom to the window level of the car. All right, so let me add a bit more, make it a bit longer. So this is up to you how long you want this car to be. However, head over to the right, uh, the right view and hit the arrow key uh, three times the right arrow key three times to create some segments. So as you can see in the perspective view, we have two sections here for the doors. All right, so when we have that, we hit enter. Now what I want is to round the top corners here. So I'll head over to the back view, make sure I'm in point mode. To go to point mode, just hit the space bar a couple of times until you get to point mode. Then select that point over there. I want to round this point. I could round both points at the same time. However, since there, there's no segment in between here, it's going to cause some undesirable, undesirable results, sorry. So let's do it one line at a time. So let's go to the multiply tab and hit rounder, hit N for the numeric tab. And in here, we're going to have, uh, we're going to be rounding number of polygons one, make sure it's at one and then you add the inset distance here. This will depend on the size of your object. For me, the inset distance I want here is 200 millimeters. So I'll leave it at that and hit enter twice. Close that and redo on the other side. Select the other line and do the same thing. N for numeric and hit enter twice. All right, so, so far so good. So now we're going to raise this part a little bit. So let's go to polygon mode and select these two polygons. Hit shift to select both at the same time. So let me hit that. Actually, what we want to do is go down here where it says symmetry and make sure you hit symmetry so that from now on, what we do on the left or on the right happens on the other side as well. So let me select these two polygons on the top and the others down here like that. Hit the T button for move. Hold down the control key so that you move only in one axis and let's drag upward like that. Okay, so now we know that our car, so let me deselect that. We know that our car should be a bit longer at the front and shorter at the back. So what we do is we go to point mode again right click using click and drag using the right uh, mouse button to select like that hit the T for move hold down control click and drag to one side like that All right so far so good so now what we need to do is create the windows at the top here so I'm going to go to polygon mode again select these two polygons Hit the E button for extender, hit T for move, click and drag using the control key to drag in one axis like that. Okay. So now we want it to taper a little bit at the top. So what we would do is we'll hit H for stretch, go to the back view. This is uh, the view that's facing you, uh, where the car is facing you. Click in the middle. Make sure here where it says uh, selection instead of mouse, because sometimes the mode could be on mouse. What, what this does is if I click here and drag, uh, it's going to stretch from wherever the mouse is. So make sure it's on selection. But since we're in symmetry mode, we can't really stretch this. So we have to use T for move to move it inward like that because it's in symmetry mode, both sides will move inward like so. All right, so it looks a little bit more like a car. And then we want it to, 
uh, head upward a little bit to tilt upward a bit so we click the Y button for rotation hit the center press control and rotate that's too much I think um, I would need something like okay you don't hit the control key because that actually makes it difficult to it rounds it off so we need something like um, let's say 10 degrees you should watch the corner here the bottom left corner for how far you are actually rotating or moving something all right so so far so good let me go to let me click here to enlarge the view so that we inspect our car a little bit I think we are in the right direction all right so what I need to do now is to bevel the front part here bevel the windows and so on so let's begin with the front part here I could use the bevel key or I could use multi shift now multi shift is a little bit complex so maybe we are going to go with the bevel let me show you how the bevel works so you hit the B on your keyboard small letter B and this brings up the bevel uh, uh, the bevel thing press N for numeric and as you can see here there's a shift and inset how much we're going to shift and how much we'll inset so let's try 20 millimeters for the shift and the inset 20 millimeter as well so this is exactly what kind of what we need an edge like that that is beveled which is pretty good so if we hit enter twice that will be confirmed and we need to do this again so we go inward now the thing is the multi shift can do this in one take the bevel we have to bevel several times we can't keep doing bevels continuously so what I want us to do is to get the multi shift so let's go to multiply tab where it says extend click on more and let's find multi shift so if I hit the N for numeric it's pretty much almost like the bevel except you've got more options here so let's see how these options actually work so what we want is an inset first of all so let's try an inset of 40 millimeters this time so it goes in like that that's exactly what I wanted but the beauty of um, multi shift is that I can do multiple insets like this so all I have to do is go down here and say inset shift to conform right then I can do one more again now this time I want to do a, sh a shift I want to shift it let's say um, since we are going inward we use a negative value minus 20 millimeter let me hit something there all right so as you can see it has gone inward by 20 millimeters but before it does that I want it to have a slight bevel so what we would do instead we'll let it shift we'll insert again another 20 on top of this 40 so it's going to go to 60 millimeter so if you watch closely there you have a bit of an inset like that these uh, insets are good to define the lines around edges they're very nice because in nature nothing is really 90 degrees sharp so you have to add a bit of a bevel to everything to make it look awesome all right so if you have that done let's insert what we've done here insert shift and then let's do another shift from 20 let's add 40 and there it goes inward probably can see it better in this uh, right side view what we are doing here let me increase the number of millimeters here as it increases you see what's going on there all right that's pretty much it so let me hit the enter twice to make sure it's confirmed and there we go that's pretty good we need 